Welcome back to the show. Miss Burns had to go check on her steaks. Oh, I guess she's a vampire, so she wouldn't do that, would she? No. She wouldn't use She might her. eat one. Right, right. But uh, we're here with Livingston and, and Claudia from Interview with the Vampire. She's, yeah, she does look like Claudia. Astoundingly so. She does. I think uh, maybe she, if, if they ever do that film again, maybe Tangela could portray that role. It would work. It would work for me. Anyways, let's read some mail, Livingston. That's what they want to see, Very not my well. rambling. They want to hear the mail that we have from our wonderful viewers who wrote to us. This one came through email, right? Because yeah. it's on the small paper. All right, first note of the evening is from Daniel Coughlin in Santa Rosa. That's close by. That is close by. We have to go there when we want to buy shoes. There's no shoes out in Bodega Bay. We, we can get groceries and stuff here, but no shoes. True story. She has to go to Santa Rosa sorry. too. All right. So he goes, hello, Vincent. Your show is great. Well, that's all I need to read, right? No. I'm going to read the rest. Vincent, Livingston, and Tangella all make for a groovy Saturday night. You know, by the fact that he said groovy, I think how I know how old he might be. The movies are getting better. The Crawling Eye in particular was horribly great. You know, we've gotten lots of compliments on this Crawling Eye film. I, I didn't think it was that great. But if you guys think it's great, well, I think it's great as well. Keep up the good work, Daniel. All right, well, thanks for writing, Daniel. And we like these kinds of notes, right? But they actually like the movies. Most of the ones we get are complaints, right? Yes. He chooses the movies. I've got nothing to do with it. All right, we've got a note from Perry in Martinez. And he, he, could, he, could his last name be in Martinez? I doubt it, sir. All right, Perry in Martinez. And he says, hello, Creature Features. Thank you so much for bringing the show back. You're welcome. My mom and I never missed it back in the 70s. She recently passed away. Oh, that's sad to hear. But if she watched Creature Features, I bet she had a wonderful life. And uh, when uh, the memories come flowing back when I watch it now. You all have great chemistry together. But I wish I could hear Tangela say something. She is such a cutie. You know, she was actually saying something to me before we did the segment. She said I dressed her up like a doll. Where would she get an idea like that? She's kind of a doll, right? Right. All right. Thanks for writing, Perry and Martinez. And the last note, right? I think we should start doing four instead of three. As you wish. I mean, you, I saw the stack of mail on your desk. It's going to take us it's a year. Oh, up. there's money in this one. Look. They've sent you money, sir. It's a tip. Maybe? Not quite. All right. This is uh, This and the money is from... Is it Stephen or Stefan? How, how do you, I never know how to pronounce this with a PH. Stefan. Stefan? Because it's German, right? Yes. He's German. He knows. And he goes, uh, Dear Vincent, <clears throat> since the days that Creature Features auditioned in 1971, I think he meant uh, premiered. Perhaps. Premiered in 1971 with Bob Wilkins, my entire family has endured such cult classics as Roman the Robot Monster. I never heard of that one. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, etc. We were largely introduced to this by my brother-in-law, Jim Spain, who recently had one of his letters read on your show. I think we've read a bunch of mail from Jim Spain, haven't we? One, at least. It's a memorable name. Staying true to the caliber of movies Wilkins showed, we feel it is time for an upgrade and having closed $5, which should easily double your monthly budget based on the genre of, genre of films you've been airing lately. You know, with this money, we can, we can, we can show 10 films. And I'm keeping it. She always goes in my wallet, so she's probably gonna get it back anyways. P.S. Tangella, you are a rose between two thorns. If you knew anything about Tangella, you would know that there's two roses around one thorn. Thanks for writing, sir. And that is it for mail. If you would like to send us a note, you know what to do. Email address is here. Postal address is here. It's really simple. You choose. We'll be right back with Miss Kitty Burns after the next segment of the film. Stay with us. It does not fly. <laughs> 